Have you ever wondered how much time do we waste every single day just navigating our phones? You know, finding that right app, retyping information, it all adds up. Well, iOS 26 has some built-in shortcuts that are so good, they almost feel like, well, cheat codes. We're gonna cover five of them today and hopefully they're gonna change the way you use your iPhone forever. And if you want more tech cheat codes in your subscription feed, you know what to do. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get into it without wasting any more time. All right, let's start with the one called the back tap and it literally turns the Apple logo on the back of your phone into a customizable button. So you just head into your settings, go to accessibility, then touch and scroll all the way down to see the back tap here. And over here, you can assign actions to both a double tap and a triple tap. You can open an app, take a screenshot, mute your phone, or even run a complex shortcut that you already set. My go-to is setting a double tap to summon Siri. Now, you might be thinking, Sonny, I can just say, hey Siri, and hold on to the side button to summon Siri. And you're right, but think about those times when it's too loud for your phone to hear you, or when you have your hands full, or if your hands are messy from cooking or working on something. Instead of trying to press a button precisely, you just give the back a quick tap tap and you have Siri. It's a faster, more convenient way to get to Siri when you can't or don't want to use your voice or the side button. It's a small change, but I think it makes a huge difference. Okay, next up is one that feels like it's straight out of a spy movie. We've had live text for photos for a while now on iOS, but now in iOS 26, it works seamlessly on videos as well. Let me show you. So you can just pause any video, the one that you've shot, and the phone will recognize any text that's in the frame. And you can see this, I can just press and hold on it. And now you can copy it, translate it, look it up, anything. Think about it. Grabbing a phone number from a truck that drives by in a video, copying an address from a travel vlog, or pulling a recipe from a cooking video without having to manually even type anything is so cool. It's so clever and it saves a ton of time. Okay, now this one is a pro user move that's been hiding in plain sight and you're gonna be really impressed by this. I know I was. So you know how you share a photo by hitting the share button, then finding the app, then finding the contact that you wanna share the photo with? What if I told you there was a much faster way to do it? Just drag and drop. Well, let me show you. So here we have a photo. So just tap and hold on any photo, a file, even a block of text until it lifts up. And then while you're still holding it, use your other hand to swipe home and open another app like your messenger, your text messages or email, whatever. Then you just drop it in and that's it. It's done. It feels a little awkward at first, but once you get a hang of it, you'll never open the share menu for simple tasks. It's perfect for when I'm storyboarding a video and need to quickly pull reference images into my notes. This one is a lifesaver for anyone who needs to focus or just you know, chill out for a bit. I know life can be so hectic sometimes, and this feature is definitely gonna help you relax a bit. What if I told you your iPhone has a built-in sound machine and it's awesome. Buried in the accessibility settings is a feature that's called background sounds. You can turn it on to play calming music, ambient noise like rain, ocean waves, or just balanced white noise. You can have it play underneath your music or podcasts or just by itself. Honestly, when I'm editing a video and need to drown out, well, let's just say unpredictable household noises, this is fantastic for that. It helps me get in the zone. You can even add a little toggle for it in your control center for a quick access. And this is one of those features you'll surely use every single day once you know it's there. Okay, I've saved the most mind bending. How did it do that feature for last? Forget needing Photoshop to cut out the picture. Your iPhone is now literally a magic wand. Now, this feature is called lift subject from the background. Now check this out. You find any photo in your gallery, literally anything, 
press and hold on the main subject in that photo, a person, a pet, a car, anything, and iOS will perfectly trace and cut it out from the background. It's insane how accurate this feature is. From here, you can copy it or even better, just drag into another app. But it gets even better. When you lift a subject, you'll see an option to add sticker and boom, you just created a custom sticker that you can use anytime. You can even add cool effects to it. And if you want to do this with a live photo, the sticker will be animated as well. It's perfect for making hilarious custom reaction stickers of your friends or your pets to use in your group chats or your messages. And this is one of those features that you'll show one person and soon enough, everyone in the room will be huddling over their phones making stickers. So there you have it, five features in iOS 26 that were probably already on your phone, just waiting to be used. I'm curious, which one of these are you gonna start using right away? Or do you have any other hidden gem that I missed? Let me know down in the comments below. I read every single one of them. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, a subscription to the channel would be amazing. I'm Sunny, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.